kinds of uh, gear and uh, souvenirs. My time here in uh, Denmark as uh, we head for the uh, third match in the uh, team tie. Overall score one all as um, as much Kimke is uh, taking on Fabian Lukot. Different uh, road to uh, this matchup as uh, Rasmus Kimke got his breakthrough last year. Really close to winning the uh, Denmark Open, uh, finished runner up Jonas Antonsen, whilst Fabian Wood has been away from international badminton for uh, three years. Here is Kimke, he's on home soil. He lived for a big, big part of his life. He lived uh, 300 meters from uh, this stadium. Practiced in uh, Aarhus Badminton Club together with uh, Anas Antonsen, uh, Nina Cashfield, and a bunch of other talented players. Alexander Boy also uh, from that uh, hotbed. And Fabian Roth, it's good to uh, have him back in uh, international badminton, one of the uh, young Europeans coming up there in 16-17 uh, that suffered uh, numerous uh, injuries. Finally back, but um, still um, not uh, at 100% or you could say that yeah that you're always at that 100% but, but whilst he's been uh, recovering for three years uh, other players have developed and it's difficult to get into tournaments um, doesn't have any ranking uh, really internationally so um, have to start all over no head-to-head -head between uh, these two players but as I mentioned during the first men's singles, Fabian Roth, the uh, last European player, Black was not a Dane to beat Victor Axelsen. Black, red view. Red it is. You serve. Okay, enjoy. So Fabian Roth won the uh, coin toss and elected to serve, and Gemke just stayed on the uh, far side of the court. Um, really difficult to gauge if there is any drift here. Um, if there is a slight drift, it's not something that significantly um, affects the game, I think. Um, it's, um, you don't see a lot of uh, mistakes on the uh, back line. Shuttles are quite slow here. Here is Rasmus uh, Gimke. 186 centimeters, that's uh, approximately uh, 6 foot 2. Currently uh, ranked 12th, and that is that is his um, highest ranking. But um, he struggled a little bit um, this year. Here, uh, lost the quarterfinal of the European Championships to uh, Kalikoljunen, and uh, that was a big, big surprise. Here you can see the ranking of uh, Fabian Roth, 360, uh, but he was as high as. 34 when uh, he was in his uh, previous uh, heydays now the 25 uh, year old he's from uh, Karlsruhe and now lives in uh, Mulheim he uh, has shown some um, good signs these last two weeks uh, played three games with uh, Cho Tien Tien in um, Suleiman Cup in uh, Manta in Finland and uh, two days ago he beat uh, Kim Dong Hun in three games in the uh, First of uh, the ties for Germany in this uh, Sudiaman Cup. He won the European Junior Championship back in 2013, beating uh, Mark Kalja, who incidentally is also out at the moment with um, a back injury and um, reached the quarterfinal of the uh, World Junior Championship the same year. Lost to uh, a man who's just been playing on the adjacent court, Hu Kwang Hee from Korea who uh, won the gold back then and uh, on the road to that final uh, quarterfinal Fabian Roth he beat uh, Shi Yu Chi Ready to play. but uh, that's eight years ago and uh, it's going to be interesting um, to see 
how this match unfolds. Gimke played two days ago against uh, the youngster from uh, France, Alex uh, Lanier, and um, was in trouble, or got himself into trouble. He was actually in control in the third game, but um, failed to close it out and had to uh, fight to uh, put it away. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Denmark, represented by Rasmus Gemke. And on my left, Germany, represented by Fabian Roth. Germany to serve. Lobo. Play. match and that is uh, the pace can Rasmus Gemke play at a pace that um, Fabian Roth is unable to follow and uh, can he uh, score in, uh, his attack the day that is gonna be really really important that's a good shot I don't think Gimke came out of the match against uh, Alex Lanier with the biggest of um, confidence. So uh, this is a chance for him to um, to regain some of it and also to uh, sort of regroup his game, so to speak. He um, got dragged into this uh, Fast and Furious game, but... Um, He's actually been working on uh, being able to play longer rallies and um, control um, rallies by being patient. And um, Two, I think that um, the uh, good fortunes at the Denmark Open 2020. Since then, Gimke has had a little bit of uh, difficulties in sort of um, reproducing. Um, that good uh, play he lost to Max Weisskirchen, who's not uh, on the German team today in uh, Bitburg Open last year. Then um, a good first tournament at the Thailand bubble in January, where he beat Zihus and uh, Fed Pradat from uh, Thailand, but uh, lost narrowly to Ginting. And then in the, uh, in the second tournament, he lost tamely to uh, Samir Verma. Lost Swiss Open to AJ Jairam, All England to beat Nishimoto, but then lost to Sunyama, and then the uh, Europeans to uh, Kolyunen. And I think, I think perhaps uh, unconsciously, there's been a lot of uh, pressure on uh, Rasmus Gemke because of this uh, Thomas Cop that's been waiting. He's supposed to secure that uh, third win in. Uh, Men's single. That's a great rally here. Wow. Eventually he uh, converts, and I think that's just so important for Gemke's self-confidence that uh, he gets out of these uh, long rallies here. But the situation in Denmark is that um, everybody's talking about uh, the Danes as having a great chance of winning the Thomas Cup for the second time, this time on home soil. They also realize that our men's doubles department isn't perhaps the strongest at the moment, so we might have to rely on winning three men's singles. We've got three men's singles ranked within top 12 in the world. No one else, no one else nation has that. And I think that has um, unconsciously played on Genke's mind that there's a big responsibility on his shoulders. Oi, oi, oi. Service over. 
Sort of a shooting tent for Fabian Roth to try and uh, catch Rasmus Gemke while diving there. Kim Dong Hun two days ago, so nice to have a recovery day before. And you put a challenge. Yeah, well read. Clever player. Four, four. Basically, you have to say that because he represents the club I'm coaching in the um, Danish Badminton League. So, um, a little bias is uh, now disclaimed. Good deception by uh, Rasmus Gimke pointing towards uh, Kenan Jonasen. Danish head coach, so that's probably something that they've discussed, that um, deceptions is uh, indeed needed on the uh, front court. Please try to stop walking around the court. The umpire agrees, more speed, don't walk around the court. Up the pace, please. I'm not sure he would have gotten to that anyway. That was a really good deception from uh, Fabian Roo. Look at this. Excellent play by uh, Rasmus Gimke. Gets the uh, backcourt into his game, so to speak. Makes the court big for uh, Fabian Roth, and um, then opportunities um, occurs on the front court. If he only plays downwards into the front court, uh, then it's too easy for the German to close it out. Great 
an interception by uh, Dimka. Seven, five. Good ways. Uh, we couldn't see it there. Couldn't see the shuttle it has to be changed at least. But uh, the cross from Fabian Roth was uh, too short and immediately punished by Dimka. Fabian Roth uh, got away that one. That went wide, but um, it might play on the mind of Rasmus Gimke later on. That um, he's got to uh, be sharp to put it away and uh, could invoke um, an error here and there. Good shot. Excellent. Good choice. A smash would have been very difficult to get the right timing on as the shuttle was dropping uh, vertically from uh, the ceiling here in the CS Arena. for either this to happen that Gemke made an error or that uh, he suddenly would get an opportunity to uh, inject pace and turn the uh, initiative around in the, the rally. The two of you are taking too much time between points. Get in. Another verbal warning. Up the game, please. One left. Nine four. chance eventually there was no chance and he had to try and spin it
short. Uh, he really has to uh, select his attack carefully, uh, Rasmus Gemke. Here he attacked out of position and immediately came under pressure. He really can't afford to do that. Advantage here at the mid game interval 11 10. a little more. That's good boy. Yeah, both players are ready to challenge. It's uh, Rasmus Kimke who challenges Rasmus because the linesman has called it wide. Called out. It looked wide to me, but let's see what Kopa uh, says. Outside the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 12, 10. So when Gim Gimke is Play. clearing or playing a shot to the back court, he should overcover the front court a bit more. Um, that's going to ride as well. From this time from Fabian Ward. I think that's, um, that's a good 11, point. 12. But the thing is, he doesn't play the back court a lot. And it's also important what to do when um, Fabian Rold is playing his drop shots from the back court. What, what is it Gemke should do? I think he should uh, play a little deception and then into the front court. And if he can, that's well played. There's the sudden injection of uh, pace, the change of pace. Often much more efficient than just playing at a continuously uh, high pace. Defended himself brilliantly, uh, Fabian Ward. And his uh, lifts from the front court, they have really, really good uh, height and uh, length on them. And they have to, because if they are too short, then uh, Gimpy will be uh, over them like a ball. Well, 
also think it's really important that Gimke realizes that in these playing conditions, he needs to put one extra quality shot before he can um, sort of attack more freely. He has to make the chance even bigger than he thinks. It's a short. He stayed in. Yeah. Fabian Rom challenges. It's uh, called out by the linesman. But um, challenge from uh, Fabian Rod. It looked close to me, but uh, maybe it's just gone wide. Here comes the verdict. Yeah, stayed inside. Correction in. Service over. Touched by uh, the German. 15, 13. It's so important to stay in balance as well in these uh, conditions. Well, it basically always is because it's it's really difficult to um, get the correct length on your shot if you're out of balance. Well saved there from uh, oh, another one. It's got to win this one, Kimke. Shot. Wow. It takes everything up, uh, Fabian Ward. Can he keep on doing it? Oh, it's gone long. Patient so play by uh, the Dane. And uh, Fabian Ward was forced to make some uh, really, really good saves. That one. Eventually went too long. And that's exactly my point. If you're out of balance, it's really, really difficult to control your shots. Either they tend to get too short, or as it was the case here, too long because you want to avoid that it's uh, too short. And uh, it's just much more difficult to control when you're out of balance. Service over. 16-14. Went directly for the nose there. Fabian Roth. Excellent follow-up to put it away there, but uh, also the uh, block at the net earlier on. It was the previous rally. Junkie uh, couldn't get out of the way. I think he would have liked to. Waiting for the uh, shot from Ward. That's a little bit too short. 15, 17. And he has a big smash, Kimke. But um, he can't just uh, fire it as freely as in uh, faster playing conditions. Because then he will uh, be made to work an awful lot. 
That's a good one. Yeah, not too much uh, power in it, but um, executed really quickly, and uh, that's oftentimes more efficient than uh, the big power smashes, especially in plain conditions like this. You basically, want to go for angle with the power. Short clinker. Oh, that's beautiful play. Over. Couldn't have walked there and placed it any better, Fabian Ward. 18, 16. And this is really um, the right medicine for Fabian Ward to play these two team tournament tournaments here. Couldn't have come at a better time. He can't get into tournaments so he can play strong opposition like this and get good matches. So um, to boost his uh, touch on the court. That's really, really um, difficult as the situation is with the uh, COVID-19. So uh, this is uh, valuable uh, match practice for the German. 17, 18. of um, the match here you know, the first game is to be decided that's a good clear by Ginke leaving the initiative to the German I wouldn't have said that if that had been on the line I would have scolded him but uh, I actually think sometimes giving away the initiative at um, unexpected times could uh, create some confusion with um, your opponent. So, first to three points wins it. in that uh, recovery shot, uh, Rasmus Genke. A little bit sloppy, maybe it's too harsh, but uh, that was just the feeling I got sitting up here watching. He's defending himself well. Fabian Ward. Oi, that's a beautiful uh, slice. Drop shot from uh, Gimke. 19. The moment Fabian Ord gave away the initiative, the Dane was there. It's not really getting uh, 20 game value out uh, of this uh, pressure at the net. Fabian Ward able to play himself out of trouble. A block would um, maintain the initiative in the rally for Gimke. Now uh, he's down one game point here as uh, Fabian Ward's serving. Net court. 
Fantastic lift. Oh, that's fantastic play, and he's yeah. thrilled, uh, Fabian Roth. What a control there by the German in the defense. First game won by Germany. Great lift on the... Uh, 19. Tight spinning that shot from Gimke as well. And here is uh, the result of a tough, tough first game. 29 minutes and 21-19 for Fabian Roth. taking too long time between um, the rallies from um, our umpire here. Sean was helping from uh, Ireland and he was not going to warn them anymore, he said. And whether that means that um, they can just take as much time as they like from now on or he's actually going to use one of his uh, cards that he's got in the pocket. I think it uh, meant the ladder. Now, uh, Kenneth Jonasen and uh, Rasmus Gemke, they discussed, um, or mainly it was Kenneth Jonasen who uh, told Rasmus Gemke that um, nothing much has changed in terms of the game plan to uh, slice it in front of um, Fabian Roth from the back court if Gemke is not um, in a good position. And then from the front court, um, good deceptions on and played over. Fabian Roth, but I think, yeah, I think the uh, German has uh, handled the front court extremely well, even when he's uh, a little uh, below the tape. And uh, taken some chances at uh, correct times, but of course, can you be honest, that's correct, 19, 21, that's not, um, that's not a big deficit. And uh, it's interesting to see how Germany two. is uh, reacting to this uh, win here, whether it takes a little while to uh, sort of um, mentally get ready for the second game, or he's uh, grown in confidence. If he's grown in confidence, then uh, it's not good news for the day. to get through two tournament wins before he uh, got badly injured. Uh, Fabian Roth, that was um, in um, Hellas two, Open in 15, where three. he defeated Toby Penty in Irish Open 16, where he denied Scott Evans' uh, home court 
victory. has got to play this from a much, much more uh, defensive perspective. Instead of wanting to score the points, he's got to start uh, thinking about not losing them. Neutralize uh, Fabian Roth's shot and uh, wait for the opportunity. That's a beautiful shot. It's looking good for the Danish team matches uh, in the Danish league. And I have to say. Last year, he started his uh, comeback towards uh, international level. Five, three. It's a little bit uh, more difficult to predict what um, Fabian Ward is doing on the front court than um, Osmos Kimke. that um, Denmark had a 2-0 head-to-head over Germany in the previous two encounters in the uh, Thomas Cup. And uh, they have that against, um, or at least they have the nil against all European teams. Denmark has never, ever lost a Thomas Cup format match to another European country. There's a chance they could fall behind 2-1 here. And there's still a long way to go. But he's, uh, Seven, he's struggling. Last was Kim Kip. Fabian Ward there, off too short. There, short again. And he's working hard now. And that's when I think that uh, Gimke should try and utilize, play it from a more defensive perspective. That's gone long, but uh, I think it's a positive rally. Eight, five. And uh, we can see Fabian Ward, we can't see it here because we have the replay of uh, the rally where Ward leaves it, but um, he's gone directly to the kit box to uh, towel down. Eight, five. 
Yeah, well played. This time the uh, game plan succeeded, making uh, Fabian Roth move between front court and back court, and eventually uh, ending up playing a too short, exploitable shot. Amazing touch that uh, he's displaying today, uh, Fabian Ward. And uh, I think it could be um, a close race here in the second game. I uh, think if this match goes to uh, a third and decisive game, then uh, the momentum will swing heavily towards Gemke. Um, so I think Ward has got to try and close it out in uh, straight games. After all, he's not used to playing uh, as many uh, tough matches, even though there's a rest day in between. himself can be. Again he starts to open early and as long as, as Fabian Wood he can defend those shots. Eventually he gets behind, he falls behind and, and opens up an opportunity where he's not really uh, playing defense from a good position. He's a little bit out of balance, a little bit in the dark as uh, where the shots are coming because Wood also had these strong uh, drop shots. So uh, careful from the Danish perspective as to uh, when to open the rallies. the second game who has a one-point lead going into the mid-game interval, 11-10.
så, så er det jo størst kram på alle mine tider, men det er jo hele tiden af faktur, og så bevægelse på det også. Hold tempoet op. Ja. Det måske sådan en fin tid eller noget. momentum here in my opinion and he started with a rally that he lost controlling and uh, Ward was struggling. What's this whole guy saying? Kimke has kept the shell so he's uh, certain of the linesman's uh, verdict. But it's wrong. It's actually in. And Gemke is looking puzzled at Kenneth Jonasen. Swing perhaps again towards uh, Fabian Ward. Those two rallies here, losing, um, the not losing the challenge, but uh, Fabian Ward being correct with the challenge, and we got the right uh, verdict, and then uh, making this error here. So important for Gimke not to let points slip away. It's also gone wide. There's, this time there's a challenge from Gimke. Rasmus Gimke challenges called And I think, um, I think Wood was about to um, be a little bit short of stamina, but these challenges are, of course, extra breaks. Let's see if um, Gimke is successful. He's not. That was out. And this is, um, this is mentally a challenge for the Dane. Nothing much has gone his way. He was about to uh, gain momentum here in the second game, but suddenly uh, three points gone just like that. That's a good deception. And it also tells me that um, Ward is not having the same spring in his step as he uh, had in the first game. I think if he realizes that it's maybe just two, three really, really tough rallies, and then he will have the uh, mental upper hand, the German, if he can uh, win those two, three really tough rallies, then he might be able to invest in it. Oi, 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 oi. Got a warning for leaving the court there, the German. Lucky, uh, nothing happened, no roll of the ankles or anything. But it's obvious that he's more in the dark as to where Gimke is playing now as uh, he was earlier on in uh, the match. It's 
time it was uh, Fabian Roth's turn to uh, open up early. And I have a feeling that he might in fact be even more um, tired than it looks like. Uh, so he basically should go for these 50-50 shots in this second game. Good shot. That's well played, extremely well played by uh, Fabian Roth. That uh, cross back to the side where Genke came from, that is uh, challenging the Dane. but it's getting um, increasingly difficult as um, he's not able to sort of uh, create a little cushion. There's not room for a lot of errors. He was looking for the chance, Fabian Wood. He knows that the net is uh, where he's going to uh, perhaps finish this game. That's where he's going to take his chances. And again, it's the forehand side of Asmus uh, Gemke. And again, Fabian Roth overdoes it from uh, the long backhand. Second uh, error from the German from that spot goes uh, too much for it. I don't think he wants to uh, see that return from Gemke. It should either be a winner or a loser, and as it is oftentimes, it becomes a loser. So, oh, that's, yeah, that's another wasted challenge. I wouldn't do that. He gives a break to. Uh, Fabian Ward and um, I don't think he's correct but um, yeah let's see what Hawkeye says I've been uh, wrong a number of times before no it was way way out challenge unsuccessful what no challenge remaining service over if, if Kim ends up losing this game 15. by two points he's gonna regret having Play. that challenge Good shot, excellent, went for placement instead of power. And uh, we would have to respect that Kim uh, can fire a powerful smash. Fabian Roth, he doesn't want to get out to these uh, cross smashes again, plays, playing them safer and then having to run the long diagonal. But he did what uh, the plan was, Genke tried to slice it in front of him. Good flicker. That's clever play. The whole flat game. Chuck, oh, he's gone wide from uh, Genke. That's really clever play here from Fabian Ward. You can see how he's uh, keeping it flat, uh, not opening up the court. 
and he's rewarded. That could be a really, really important point. as well. Good deception. Wow. I think Ward should have left that one. On the uh, right sideline. It's a great battle at the moment. Great tactical uh, battle. You can see the goal line, Fabian Ward. He's played so well in uh, this match so far. He's on short. Cheering on his uh, teammates. Very important uh, few rallies coming up for the uh, comeback of. Uh, Fabian Ward's career and for the Danish chances here at the uh, Thomas Cup. Good defense. Yeah, that's well weathered by uh, Rasmus Gemke. And uh, if Fabian Ward is going to lose this match, he's going to look back at uh, that rally where he had a chance to secure himself three match points. Didn't really get it done. And he uh, was the runner-up at the uh, German Championships against Kai Schäfer, where he uh, won the first game convincingly, then lost out 22-20 in the uh, second, and then ran out of steam in uh, the third. So, can he uh, do better here? but it's uh, it's not easy it's not easy at all but who has the uh, nerves here there's no doubt that uh, for Fabian Ward this would be a sweet sweet victory to beat uh, world number 12 and for Rasmus Gemke it would be uh, a sign that he's ready to shoulder the responsibility in uh, a third men single he said he wasn't going to warn them anymore. Sean was helping. I just think he did. Fantastic save. Oh, yeah. And he just managed to keep it inside the lines. Fabian Ward, he's earned himself a match point. Match point 19. That's a fantastic save by Gemke, and he almost pushes that one long. Fabian Ward, what a drama. And you might say, yeah, but uh, if he loses this game, Fabian Ward, he still has the third. I don't think he has any third. I don't think there's much left in um, the German. I think this is the decisive moment of uh, the match. Match point for Germany. So now, the first one, Rasmus Genke. Solid play. Wasn't really uh, at risk. And a good flicker. 
Fabian Ward took the chance and uh, went for the short one. Service. And now game point for Rasmus Gemke. I will fling again. Look at that. Fantastic lift there. Good control. And then playing it sharp at the net. Thank you. 38 shots. Longest rally so far. And a lot of support from uh, Gemke, who can feel he's on uh, home soil here. Fourth game point. Another flicker. Very oh, good deception by Fabian Ward. Excellent kill there. Amazing touch he has from the uh, backcourt and those drop shots that uh, sets the whole thing up. 
so four game points saved by uh, the German. And now the second match point for uh, Fabian Roth and Germany to put Germany up 2-1 in this uh, Thomas Cup tie. Fantastic defense. Fabian Wood takes the victory over Rasmus Genke and he's thrilled. It is uh, the comeback to uh, international top badminton. He's gotten better and better from uh, Banta two weeks ago. Playing three games with Cho Tsin Tsin. Two days ago he uh, won a marathon match against uh, Kim Dong Hun and now in a thriller of a match he is defeated uh, Rasmus Gemke. You got to admire the uh, touch from the German player. Played some good defense and uh, I think Gemke Got a little bit too eager at times. Um, he was on to the right track at moments, but um, casual errors uh, kept Fabian Roth within striking distance, and that did became uh, did become costly uh, in the end. So, confirmation of the score after one hour and seven minutes, 21-19, 26-24. And uh, Germany takes the uh, lead in this team tie. They're up 2-1 against uh, Denmark. Now two chances to do what no European team has ever done before, defeated Denmark in a Thomas Cup tie. Here is the winning rally. Had his chances, uh, Rasmus Gimke. And there is the winning moment. We saw, if you were with us, you might have seen Frederick Sogard of Denmark when uh, he and uh, Mas Pila Colling won in the uh, first round here. Broke down in tears because he was so happy being back after a long injury period. I don't know if Fabian Ward exactly will. Uh, break down in tears but there's no doubt that um, he is so happy to be back at the international level so 2-1 for Germany and uh, the next uh, match coming up in the tie is the scratch pair of Matthias Christiansen and Frederick Sogard they're up against uh, Daniel Hess and Jan Colin Fulker who is trying to seal the deal for Germany that's just after the highlights
So, from a Danish perspective, the things have uh, taken an ugly turn here in the CS Arena in Aarhus. But from a German perspective, things are taking a very nice uh, turn as only Victor Axelsen from uh, the Danish team has managed to uh, book a victory.